In the field of reinforcement learning, the core concept revolves around learning through interaction. In this context, we refer to the learner or decision maker as the agent. To illustrate this, imagine a scenario where a dog representing the agent is introduced into the world with no prior knowledge of how things work. As soon as he opens his eyes, the first thing he observes is his owner. This marks the beginning of his learning journey where every action he takes and every observation he makes will shape his understanding of the world around him. Let's imagine the owner communicates to the dog how he wants it to behave. The dog listens to the command and based on that observation, he is expected to choose how to respond. Naturally, the dog is motivated to respond appropriately not just to avoid trouble, but also in the hope of earning a reward. Dogs are complex creatures and the number of actions the dog could take at any given moment is nearly limitless. Moreover, he doesn't yet understand what any of these actions do or how they might affect the world around him, so he'll need to try them out to see what happens. At this stage, the dog has no reason to prefer one action over another, so he picks one at random, fully understanding that he has no idea what he's doing. In this case, he decides to jump. After taking this action, he waits for a response, and I have to imagine the wait is pretty scary, as he has no idea what will happen next. In response to his action, his owner gives him a reward. Encouraged by this positive feedback, the dog realizes he's off to a promising start. From here on, his goal is simple to maximize his rewards, aiming for the highest possible outcome now and in the future. But the scenario changes the owner gives a new command and the dog must decide how to respond. Jumping worked well last time, but this command looks different. Should he try something else? Again, he picks an action at random and decides to run. Unfortunately, this time the feedback from his owner is negative. Now, the dog faces a dilemma was running just a bad action overall. Or was it only a poor choice in response to this specific command? He can only figure this out by interacting more with his owner, testing different actions and learning from the outcomes. And so the process continues. Each time the dog takes action, receives feedback and gets a new command from his owner. With each cycle, he tries to choose the best action to keep his owner happy. While this interaction might seem straightforward, it's actually quite complex. For instance, the dog must find a balance between exploring new actions to see what works and exploiting what he already knows to maximize his rewards. This balance, known as the exploration-exploitation trade-off, is a critical concept in reinforcement learning. While there are some widely adopted techniques for balancing these two competing requirements, this question has inspired an entire subfield of reinforcement learning and remains an area of active research. Moreover, if our dog is truly a reinforcement learning agent, he's not just focused on getting rewards right now. His objective is to maximize the total rewards he can accumulate over his entire lifetime. So while it might be relatively simple to derive a strategy that works well in the short term, he'll have to be a bit more clever if he wants to find strategies that take longer to pay off. Training a dog can be tricky, as anyone who's tried it knows. The dog might initially think, whenever I jump, I get a reward instead of, whenever my owner says jump and then I jump, I get a reward. While this confusion is understandable, reinforcement learning agents through systematic interaction and feedback will eventually learn to understand the connection between commands and rewards leading to more effective learning and behavior. And that's the essence of reinforcement learning. Just like our dog, we must learn from each experience, balancing exploration of new possibilities with the exploitation of what we've already discovered to maximize rewards over the long term. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights into the world of AI and machine learning. See you in the next video.